Thursday morning, and we've been home from the hospital now. Everything last night was fine, but she's right at her bath. She started having a couple seizures, so we're going to be keeping an eye on her pretty close today. I am sending her to school, but uh, they have an RN there that that uh, they're they're all over it. And then um, <clears throat> we're being interviewed on the news this morning, so there's a news crew here. Hudson has these cool, uh, like hospital gown, hospital shirts that uh, were donated to us, and so because of those, we're being interviewed. Um, and Dominic is going to be on the bus any minute now, hopefully. <laughs> he is a peach this morning. Do all the medical things necessary while she's inpatient, and where our care shirts, you don't have to do that. You can just take off his mask and access it, and she's still covered, and... Um, now the real trick will be if I have enough storage on my phone for a phone. So we're going to do, <laughs> she's going to do a social media post with her phone. The cameraman already did with his big camera. And then she's doing a social media thing with her phone for the station channel. Exactly, and just keep it wide on Hudson. I told her I was going to record her while she does it. So come meet this family. This is six-year-old Hudson and her mom and dad, Casey and Dan. And well, sometimes... Again. I'm sorry. I, oh, I, okay. I went to the couple first. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. Do it. See, you get the behind-the-scenes. I will see shot. More on that coming up on 41 Action News at 10. <laughs> I should have just said 41 Action News. That's okay. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna go now. Okay. Ready, set, go. I'm Lindsay Shively. Oh, this is my. So you didn't wait for me. Oh, I'm sorry. Nod. I'm trying to. I wanted to. I'm Lindsay Shively, and this might just look like a shirt to you, but to the families who use them, it's a lot more than that. This is six-year-old Hudson and her mom and dad, Casey and Dan, and sometimes they have to spend some time in the hospital, and guys, does this shirt make a difference? It makes a huge yeah. difference. Yeah, it Huge could. difference. It's these snaps that allow hospital workers to access the patient without having to remove the whole garment. A Kansas City mom invented this. She has a patent. More coming up from her on 41 Action News. Yay. Yay! Thank you, Hudson. That's a okay, wrap. and Lindsay is wrapping up and getting out of here, and Casey is wrapping up and getting out of here, and then I gotta wrap up and get out of here because <laughs> I my driver's license expires tomorrow, <laughs> so I have today to go renew it. Okay, Casey's grabbing her stuff, I'm grabbing mine, and we are rolling out, which never happens. We never leave at the same time. Bye, I love you. Bye. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> All right. There's a 25 year warranty against deterioration. So, curious how long this is going to take. Knock on wood. I've never really had to experience a really long line at the DMV, so I'm pretty sure since I said that, uh, as soon as I get there, it's gonna be a really long line. So, uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, next scene, either me sitting, very bored, or an empty DMV. Okay, so apparently I need a statement with my new address on it because that makes sense it's something to do with voter registration I'll guarantee you okay I've gone to the house grabbed water bill drive it back it's a good 15 minutes each way so great I get to waste a extra half hour out of my small window of time to go to the DMV. So now, next scene. So let's see if it's busy. It wasn't very busy when I was there before, but I got this feeling that <laughs> maybe I sound like I'm being pessimistic, but I got a feeling it's gonna be busy now that it's it was not busy when I was there. When I come back again, it's gonna be busy because it just, isn't that kind of how things work out?
Right up to the counter. Tomorrow is your birthday. Yep. Ben's happy birthday. Hi there. Hi. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? Yeah, my wife and I are going to go out for a date. Oh, nice. Babysitter and date. <laughs> Stand against that blue curtain right there. We're going to take pictures. All right. Okay, that went really fast, actually. So, uh, better than expected, I guess. Plenty of time to get home before Dominic gets off the bus. So, all right. Day's working out great. See, I got to keep optimistic i can't be pessimistic things work out you just things are the way they are i don't know why i was being negative maybe i'm in a negative place this week come on oh. <laughs> Uh, it's a little chilly today. <laughs> you ready to go to school, babe? You excited? <laughs> We're gonna see you this afternoon. Okay, Hudson's on the bus. Now Dominic and I are going to head for, I, sh I shouldn't have closed the garage. Dominic and I are gonna head for the banks. She went to school. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah, have we'll a see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. <clears throat> I'm looking in my rearview mirror. There's a uh, hotel, motel, whatever back there. And it, it's a, I've seen several of them. I don't know if it's just this region, but the the Drury Inn <laughs> Suites, the Drury Inn, I don't know. It just, it always makes me think, why would I want to stay there? It's, it's Drury. Who wants to stay somewhere that's Drury? The Drury Inn makes you think it's like all dark and 18th century looking and cobwebs everywhere. <laughs> Dickensian. D Dickensian. <laughs> like, uh, oh, please, sir, can I have some more? Daddy, such an odd name for a business. Yeah. Okay, it is about a quarter till three, and we are headed to an IEP meeting at Hudson's school, at Hudson's new school. Get that, get that all lined out. So meeting Casey there, and Dominic and I are packing up and heading out. It's about uh, 10 minutes to get there, so we should be right on time. Okay, let's go, buddy. Come on. Hey, please don't go out of the house. Um, and then the placement was changed primarily because um, her day you know, went from a full day to a half day. But right. then we did also shift um, fairly significantly, like the time what? she's spending the gen ed classroom versus being pulled out. What? So we gotta be yeah, quiet. We're having a day. Okay, I love that. that. Ladies. Right, we gotta be quiet. And okay, this is overwhelming, but <laughs> and you can tell me the level of interest you have in going over this. So I've gone through. Thank you. Bye. Breakfast has an outside. Okay. Yes, you may. Oh, good. The sun came out. Should we sign out? Do we need I, to sign out? I don't know. This is a van. <laughs> no. Why? Because it's a sticky old sucker. You're going to have to wait and eat it when we get home. We'll be close to a house. We're pretty close, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just got done getting a haircut and grabbing Casey's dry cleaning. That's uh, hanging right there. And we're headed home. 
tried to stay gone for a little bit here. I mean, it's not like we're far from the place, but uh, Casey is actually hanging out at the house doing a little bit more studying. She has another uh, test to take tomorrow. Just another step towards getting her CFP license. That's Certified Financial Planner accreditation. And I think she takes this test and then she'll have two more, two more classes slash tests to take. And then she does like a case study and then she'll be a certified financial planner which would be uh which is huge in her industry so uh so she's studying for for this uh test that she has tomorrow tonight and then she has uh like a seven o'clock presentation somewhere so she's actually just gonna hang at the house until it's time to head out to her presentation and then then she'll be home tonight but that means that there's no Casey to see basically today because when she gets home I'm sure she'll be studying again but understandably so I mean I think we're especially these families are all part of a club it's it's something you can't explain until you're there it's kind of like being a parent is part of a club you don't have kids and you just don't get it and once you have kids you get it and so it's, it's kind of like that with, with special needs families. And so it's, we're, we're almost always just, we get it with each other. Mm -hmm.